Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 2020 Integra Coach Odyssey. This is model 24B. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews it's the world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs so if you find reviews like this useful consider subscribing and again today we're taking a look at the 24B Odyssey by Integra Coach now the MSRP is going to be around $107,000 depending on how you option it but everybody knows you don't pay MSRP that it's going to be somewhere priced in the $70,000 range area. The model is 24B, but the actual tip to tip length is 26 feet 10 inches. And I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome down in the description below. But let's start with what powers this thing, Will. This is powered on a E450 chassis. Uh, it's the 6.8 liter with. Um, like 405 horsepower really strong chassis especially for this motorhome of this size coming up front we can get this part one thing that i love about the integra coaches they use what's called a seamless fiberglass front cap which means the seam is right here so instead of being right here at the weak points so it's going to be less likely to get a leak and what i love about the integras is that nice big windshield up front and it is an automotive grade windshield very very nice because it is an integra coach it does come with a two-year warranty tip to tip and you know the forward part has its own warranty and it does have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome you have a nice tv on the outside And then you do have a nice huge awning, and why I like this awning is because they put the absolute biggest awning on it that it could have on a motorhome this size to give you a nice shaded campsite. Right here is your propane tank. There's a little bit of storage. And notice how uh, they hold, how they use this for Integra Coach. I really like that it's more expensive for them to do that but it's a really nice touch. You have a six gallon DSI water heater, a little bit more storage there, and a little bit more storage there. Now you're not gonna get a ton of exterior storage on this thing, but this isn't a motorhome to have a ton of exterior storage. It's about size for this motorhome. Coming around the back, you do have a backup camera there. Uh, and right here is your hitch. Now, your hitch is rated for 7,500 pounds, but you can't tow 7,500 pounds. So the GCWR is 22,000 pounds, and the weight of this vehicle is 14,500. So really you can tow 6,000 pounds, give or take a little bit, but it's still nice to have a hitch that is rated for that. And you do have a ladder to get up on the roof. It is a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Cool, so up here on the roof, you do have one AC unit. It is a 30 amp motorhome, and this AC unit is a 15K. Right there's your digital antenna. Let's get another look at that nice windshield from up here. That is very, very nice. Right here's your stove top exhaust. These are all vents for you to put a power fan and it is prepped for solar right there. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. Who else, what other RV salesman's gonna get up on the roof to show you what it has up there? It's also a little overweight, you know what I'm saying? Right here on the passenger side, yeah, it's not that easy for me to get up the ladder, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Coming around the side, you do have a black tank flush, which is a great feature, especially for this price point. 
I know some of the other manufacturers try to cheapen out and not put that, but that's gonna help clean your black tank. Right here is where you fill up your portable water and you do have an outside shower. Here's where you fill up your fuel. It's 55 gallon fuel tank. And again, you'll see that in all the specs down in the description below. And here's a little bit more storage. Also check out in here. Uh, when you hook up your water fills, you're able to determine where the water goes. If you want to fill up your tank, or if you want city water, or if you want to sanitize, whatever you want to do. And then down here, here's where you dump your black and gray tanks, and it's very easy to access. I know some of the manufacturers, they'll make it really hard to get, and you have to crawl down on the ground. That's a really nice feature. As I said up on the roof, it is a 30 amp motor home. Here's your power cord right here. There is a hole so you can keep this door shut. And also your cable hookup is right there as well. Over here is your generator. It is a Cummings Onan 4000 generator. It does run off the gas tank. And then finishing up the outside, you have, oh wow, that's actually a good amount of storage right there. Now, the outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Great. Entering the RV, as you can see, both seats swivel in the cockpit area, but this is what the RV looks like when the slide out was closed. I had a lot of viewers that said, hey, we'd love to see the RV with the slide out in. And as you can see, it's very spacious and I can easily get to the bathroom. So most of you can easily get to the bathroom. So let's get the slide out. Out. Great. And as I'm doing that, if you could do me a huge favor, I don't ask anything from anybody. Well, not any of you guys. If you could leave down in the comments below, let me know what you love about this motorhome, or let me know what you don't like about this motorhome. The more comments and thumbs up I get on this YouTube video, the more YouTube likes to promote my videos to other people. So I really would appreciate that. But you can get the uh, rest of the slide out going out. And let me tell you, this is a deep slide, ain't it? Mm -hmm. And one more thing. I want to give a shout out to Will. Will Knowles for standing out here on a hot day. But here it is. Again, this is considered a small class C. So how big the slide is, is incredible. Coming up front here in the cab area, not this seat, but both seats swivel around to come part of the living area. One thing I don't like is this step down, which makes it so you'd have to be sitting like that, which is really weird. So I'm glad they included the cushions and it's really not that uncomfortable at all over here in the cockpit area you do have your camera right here it is navigation ready also there's no left and right camera but there is one for the reverse uh, just your normal e450 cockpit area with pretty comfortable seats integra uses these aftermarket seats that i think are a little bit more comfortable but the other ones are still comfortable as well you have this nice bunk over the cab, USB ports right here, and you do have a button that will lower that shade in case you don't want that light or privacy. But I like that big window there, so you can see the stars and everything. Over here on the slide out, you have a nice, great big U-shaped dinette with seat belts. Something I'm a fan of is they have cup holders here and there, because so when you're sitting here and somebody taps the brakes, even if it's lightly, those, those drinks are going flying. And then you do have storage above the U-shaped dinette, and this TV is on a bracket. And as you can see, it does swivel. It actually swivels out even more, but it's um, tied up together. Over here, look how deep this storage is. Wow. So this motorhome isn't for everybody. This is for, this motorhome is really for the people who want something small, but they want to spend some extended periods of time in it. 
And so they need something small while they're driving, but spacious while they're camping. AC unit right there, a lot more cabinetry, really nice. I like the way Integra Coach does their cabinetry. Here's their kitchen area. Furion stove top three burner with glass topper right there. I love Furion. I think they're they're a great company. Pretty small microwave, but who cares when you got the oven? And then this you have your tower of power right there. Nice drawers, drawers right here. MSRP 107460 to be exact with no options except the customer value pack option. So 106460 is going to be the base and it's only going to go up from there. But there's not what something I like about Integra Coach, they don't make too they keep it they keep it simple for us. And uh, there's not too many options. Coming over here, oops, Norco refrigerator. Look how much I believe this is an 8 cubic foot refrigerator and it just adds this extra layer which makes a big deal for most people. I think so. Over here in the bedroom area, the bed does fold up. You have to put fold it up to get the slide out in, which is nice. Um, this is a cushion because that dinette does drop down to make a bed. And you do have a queen size bed here with a window right there so you don't feel so claustrophobic. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Wow, this is incredible. So I believe this unit is about a foot and a half bigger than the Integra Quest of the same floor plan. And what you're getting is more storage back here um, because Ford will allow you to make it 26 feet where Mercedes only let it shoot at 24 feet. And then here in the bathroom area, look how big this shower is, man. This is a 36 by 30 shower, big, spacious, good for most tall people with the sky dome. Nice, elegant shower with this glass, um, what's this? Door. Called? Door. <laughs> Pull the door. Little medicine cabinet right there. Sink in the bathroom. I don't like the sink in the bathroom. Mo most people do. I feel like it's just taking up space, but a lot it's not me I'm not buying it so. and then right here is the toilet and so a lot of you guys might know about my video my Vegas video a lot of people were insulting me about talking about the toilet placement well I'm five four and a half you know what well sit on this toilet okay how tall are you well Okay. Are you comfortable? Uh, it's a little tight, but it's not bad. Okay. I just wish that they would fix this area so taller people, so you can make it work. Yeah. But if you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you're definitely going to have trouble pooping uh, with the door closed. <laughs> so. Thank you mm -hmm. for demonstrating for all the taller people. <laughs> But that wraps it up. That's the 24B. Now, before you go, it's now time for me to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you love. Three things I love. Okay. First and foremost, finish up with those two. And the third thing, okay, I already got it. You ready? This big shower. Showering sucks in an RV. This is very big, 36 by 30. I can't tell you how many manufacturers, they'll put like a 24 by 24 shower in here and it's just so small and tight and nothing's wrong. But if you drop the soap, you know, you can't even bend over to pick it up. It's, it's, it's really, really, I think it's important to have a, I think the bigger shower is more important than the toilet placement. You know what I'm saying? Cause who, you know, if you got to poop that bad, you'll just go to the bathhouse, honestly. So that's one thing I love. Then the other two things are outside. So number two is the fiberglass front cap and the one piece fiberglass roof. 
Again, what makes Integra Coach iconic is this beautiful big windshield up front. I absolutely love that windshield. And then three, the third thing I love is this E450 chassis. There's way too much of the competition in a 24 foot or less, actually 26 foot or less motorhome. They're saving, what, $1,500, $2,000 to opt for the E350 chassis. And I just feel like the E450 chassis is gonna give you that extra ump and make it a lot better driving experience for the customer. Now, one of the things I don't like, one, two, and I think the third thing is outside as well. Or no, we'll do that one last. Okay. So here's the first thing I don't like. I am not a fan. Oh, actually all three are in here. Uh, I'm not a fan of the bed that flips up. Now you have to do this to get this huge slide out. I know I get it. I'm just not a fan of doing this because the way me and my family camp, my wife sometimes likes to lay down on the bed or I also take my cats and they kind of get car sick and so they like to lay in the bed. Number two thing I don't like, toilet placement right by the door, how it is. When you're me, you're fine. When you're Will, you're okay. If you're taller than Will, you're gonna have a problem with that toilet placement. I am not a fan of that. And then three, this TV placement here. I really don't like it there. Well, actually, you know what, I'm lying. I'm fine with it there, but they should have a TV up here as well. And I don't know why they didn't do that. Like they should give you two TVs. Not that you wanna be watching TV while you're camping, but it is nice. But that's it. That's the Integra Coach Odyssey. I really appreciate you taking your time watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, you can send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button to help YouTube promote my video. And make sure you hit the subscribe button right there. Oh, real quick, before you go also, down in the description below, if you like the Thor Odyssey, I will have all my Thor Odyssey videos down in the description below for you to click. Or if you like a Class C motorhome this size that's not Thor, Thor, crap, mm -hmm. Integra. That's not Integra Odyssey, no problem. I'll have videos like that down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.